Dr. Orden is in our procedure room. He's going to talk about an under eye treatment that's literally blowing up. Take it away, Dr. Orden. Yes, it is, Travis, blowing up. I'm here with Dr. Yusuf, and I'm really anxious to see this technique. I've never done it. I've never seen it done, so it's something new to me. So take it away, Doc. He's got a lovely patient that's been getting treatments that he's going to demonstrate on right now. All right. So, Doc, we're going to be demonstrating carboxytherapy, which is an injectable CO2 treatment. Now you got to watch real close. And, and so you can, wow. You, right. You can wow. actually see it blow up right away. Wow. So don't, that's only about four or five cc's of CO2. This will actually go away within 10 to 15 minutes. And if you look carefully, the skin's getting pink because our body actually hates carbon dioxide gas. So when you put it in the lower eyelid, the body rushes and open up, opens up blood flow and circulation to get the CO2 back to the lungs to exhale. And, and we know that, that historically those dark circles on the lower eyelids have been one of the toughest things to treat. Typically we use fillers, we've tried lasers, we've tried peels. Yep. But it's we tough. know it's a vascular thing. So this treatment it does, in fact, address. Improve. Right. Be, we're actually tricking our bodies to improve circulation in the area, which is why we do several treatments. Because each time we do it, we're actually teaching the body to improve circulation right where we put the CO2. Being done more outside of the United States. Yes. I know it's very popular in Brazil, and there's other applications for it. Yes. So there's some clinics in South America that just do carboxytherapy. But... Other applications for carboxytherapy are cellulite to improve the stagnant circulation and also stretch marks to improve the circulation in the stretch marks. And you obviously know the anatomy. That would be one of my issues. You better know where you're putting that needle. I mean, there's key, other key structures. You don't want air in the orbit, in the sinuses, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. But, but in the hands of somebody who's done it, pretty good. Dr. Bacher, I want to ask you really quickly because um, they mentioned that this isn't commonly or as commonly used in the U.S. Yeah, so, so it is done in the U.S., but much less commonly, and that's because it's not FDA approved. So there aren't really any studies that show that it's safe or effective. And obviously, in skilled hands, this is something that can be done, but the big risk would be in someone who's not trained. As Dr. Orden said, if, if that CO2 gas goes into a blood vessel, it could potentially even be fatal. If it goes, you could cause blindness. I mean, I, I'm actually really nervous about this procedure and untrained hands, I think it's a bad idea. If someone doesn't know the anatomy or what they're doing, you definitely don't want to have this done in some fly-by-night or medi-spa where they're not well supervised or trained because I think it could potentially be really dangerous and it isn't FDA approved in the US. Let's take a look at, at Amber's series because I know this is one of, of multiple treatments that Amber's undergone. Let's like... So. Yeah, this is Amber's fourth treatment out of a series of six. We typically do the treatments about one to two weeks apart, and so she's got a couple more treatments, and after that, she'll just do maintenance treatments every few months. How does that feel getting that? You're, you're not in any pain or no, anything? No, not at all. Um, if anything, it's just warm, but that's it. And, and, and how about the results that you've seen? I haven't had to cover it up with makeup anymore. Well, yeah. I'm well very certainly, happy. Dr. Yusuf, thanks for sharing this with us, Amber. We appreciate it. And I, I think the takeaway that, that you're saying, Dr. Botra, is as with any cosmetic procedure, be very careful. Make sure you're doing it in trained hands. And certainly with something like this that's not FDA approved, just be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. More to come.